Hello students, how are you all? You might be very happy because your majority of the examinations are over. Your class 12 boards examinations are also over. Your J mains examinations are also about to finish. And you might be in the verge of enjoying your vacation. But many of the students, your parents, your friends will be asking you that beta, what you are going to do in your future, which engineering branch you are going to select, in which engineering college you are planning to take admission and at that time you might be also thinking I haven't thought about it till now so what you have to do that I will guide you in this video as well as I will guide you about the common mistakes that students are doing till today or particularly in this time period while choosing their particular one engineering college and branch so in this video I am going to cover common doubts of students regarding their percentile regarding their rank and regarding the choices of their branch so very first question during this time students are asking me that sir what should be the qualification or what should be my minimum percentage or percentile to take admission into top engineering colleges of India. Now top engineering colleges are NITs and IITs. So if you see recent circular or circular of NTA 2023 that circular states that for taking admission into NITs as well you require 75 percentile in your class 12. Now, Till last year, this 75 percentile, 75 percentage criteria was limited for IITs only. Now, for this year, they have incorporated for NITs as well. Even from few droppers and few community, one case is going on in Supreme Court about removal of the 75 percentage criteria for this year especially. So, whatever will happen, we will explain you, we will guide you about it through our videos or our community post or our comment. So as of now, this is still in court, 75 percentage criteria. So we'll consider that only. Now, let me guide you about on how many percentile you can get into which college, which NIT you can expect, as well as which branch you can expect in NIT. Let us see that. So you all might have given JE mains examination, correct? Now in JE mains examination, you might have seen that your JE mains examination is of 300 marks. In this 300 marks, you can get different marks as per your paper. Now here, paper also depends. That paper is your easy, different, medium, tough. Based on that, you are going to get marks. Yes or no? Now see, suppose many times I have seen that if your paper is easy, then you are going to score more. If your paper is difficult, then you are going to score less. So how we can compare this both students for that percentile will come into picture. In easy paper, if you are scoring more, your percentile will be. In difficult paper, if you are scoring less, your percentile will be. And with the same percentile, we can compare this. So let me guide you about that. In your JE session 1, session 2, if you are scoring between 80 to 120, that is 80 marks in difficult paper, 120 in easy paper, 100 might be in medium level paper. You are going to reach 90 percentile or you can cross this 90 percentile at this score. If you are able to score more than this, if you are able to score 140 to 160 in this examination, then you are going to score 94 percentile, sometimes 93 or 95 depends. If you are reaching towards 200, that is if you are going from 180 to 10. You are going to get 98 percentile students here. Your approximate rank will be 13,000 as per the last two years criteria. Now, if you are going further, if you are scoring near 250 from 240 to 260, then your percentile you are going to cross 99 percentile. If you are reaching towards the level of 90 percentile students, at 90 percentile, you are going to qualify JE mains examination. That means you are eligible to write J advance on 90 percentile you are not going to get good NITs or good branch in 94 percentile you are going to get your dream NIT right this dream NIT is different this is not dream of toppers this is dream of everyone yes can you assume this dream NIT is NIT Goa where you going to wish there yes already pictures might be started in your brain you might be dreaming about it. You can get NIT Goa Ceramics branch. 
at 94 percentile so you wish to go there but your parents will not allow you at 94 percentile on nit goa hope you are getting my point here also you can get good branches in nit srinagar you can go to north for nit srinagar for this branch you can uh, also take nit agartala at this percentile even good branches you can get in nit agartala that is northeast nit you can target in 98 percentile, you are going to reach very good NITs with good branch. On 98 percentile, you can get mechanical branch in NIT Suratkal. You all might be knowing about NIT Suratkal, which is in Karnataka. You can get electronics and communication or electronics in NIT Surat. You can get electronics in NIT Bhopal. At this percentile, NIT Jaipur is also open for you. NIT Allahabad is also open for you. NIT Rorkela, NIT uh, particularly Jamshedpur, NIT Durgapur, so many NITs are open to you. But for branch, you have to take branches like this mechanical, electronics, and communication, like that. If you want CS branch in all these NITs, you have to take this 99 percentile. If you take 99 percentile, you are going to take CS in all these colleges. Even after reaching to this 99 percentile, you are open for top. Three NITs of India, which are South NITs of South, NIT Suratkal, NIT Karnataka, NIT Tirchi, NIT Varangal. So here, even if you want to take CS, then competition is high. Majority of the students are leaving different branches of IITs to take admission in CS branch of NIT Suratkal. Two of my students have taken admission through an J2020 and J2022 in NIT Suratkal, they are studying. One of my students at 98 percentile, he is studying in NIT Suratkal in mechanical branch. One of my students is uh, learning in NIT Surat electronics and communication last year. And one of the students from 2021 batch, he is in NIT Bhopal at, uh, in electronics branch. So moral of the story, with this percentile, you can get these branches and these colleges. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now, whenever I am showing these things to students and parents, they are asking me that, sir, which branch will give me more security in my career, which can give me more higher future in uh, engineering? There are so many branches available, mechanical, civil, electrical. Now, particularly, if I talk about this question, this question itself is wrong because Majority of the students, your seniors, your parents, right, your colleagues will guide you to take computer science. Even those people will guide you about computer science who are knowing nothing about it. <laughs> who are studying commerce, who are studying diploma, anything, right, who are knowing nothing, they will guide you about it. <laughs> uh, that better you take computer science, your future will be high. But this is myth. I told you that I am going to clear so many myths in this video. So, by learning computer science only, if you are going to work in computer science field, that is a myth today's world. Today it is technology era. You can learn anything. Let me guide you about science and engineering colleges. Science and engineering colleges are going to teach you problem solving skills. This problem solving skills you can apply everywhere, anywhere. And you can learn any subject, you can master any subject. I was knowing that you are not going to believe me. That's why I have come up with very good example. Do you guys know him? Yes, he is none other than Sundar Pichai. He was CEO of Google. He runs Alphabet today. Do you know background of Sundar Pichai? Sundar Pichai has done his B.Tech in Metallurgical Engineering. Metallurgical Engineering from IIT Kharagpur. Now, what is Metallurgical Engineering? It is learning about all metals. That if my, uh, any material is having this code, then it is going to have this many percentage of chromium, this many percentage of nickel. It has nothing to do with computer science. But by learning in metallurgical engineering, if, if he is able to run Google Alphabet today, then by learning any branch, can also get something or somewhere job in computer science. That's easy. Yes or no? Right. And the majority of my colleagues, my seniors who have learned in mechanical and civil, have learned coding afterwards and now they are working in this field. So, in today's technological era, you can switch your branches as per your capability. Here, majority of the students are asking me that, sir, if we want to do programming 
and suppose if we are not getting admission into computer science then which branches should we take now here if you are not getting admission into computer science then you can go for electrical then you sorry electronics then you can go for electrical you can take electronics and telecommunication today in most of the engineering colleges are teaching programming irrespective of your branch now few months back only two of my students called me that sir uh, i have taken admission in it suratkal computer science but i thought that i am going to learn so many programs and programs but it is not like that i am going to learn so many theory as well apart from programming one of my student who has taken mechanical in it suratkal he has developed this app <laughs> he is learning programming even he is master at that program so moral of the story if even you are not getting admission into computer science electrical electronics if you are taking admission into mechanical and civil then also you can learn programming but what is required to learn programming to learn programming just require your basic concept of maths basic grasp of mathematics is required if you are good at your maths then easily you can grasp programming one of the biggest myth in parent is that sir my student was not able to score good in ji he or she is not getting iit or nit what to do is our career finished answer that answer you can get from this guy yes do you know this guy yes is none other than satya nandela ceo of microsoft because of whom only i can able to create this ppt and you can see this video so satya nandela is ceo of microsoft and if you see his background he was neither iitian nor nitian so by being neither iit nor nit and if he can reach to us that place you guys can also do it we all can also do it so moral of the story guys if you are not getting admission into iits or nits then don't lose hope just as per your recent percentage as per your recent course of all competitive exam look about all the engineering option branches and college choose one perfect branch and by dedication commitment and hard work you can reach towards height one student parents are asking me that sir what is the advantage of iits and nits what is the difference if we are taking admission to iits and if we are not taking to nits see for that let me give you one example in any one's life span one person is working from 30 years to th- uh, particularly 30 to 35 years one person is working from age 21 to 56 on an average so if i take this working hours or working years as one marathon suppose your working hours of working years of anyone's life is this marathon of 42 km then by taking admission into iit and nit it is going to give you head start of 500 m that means if any person is not learning iit and nit if he is not learning into iit or nit if he is learning into any other college then after his graduation or after her graduation he or she can be here that is he or she can get xyz amount of package in abc company but from learning iit in or from learning uh, but from learning from iit or nit that person can get package this that if this is xyz then this is higher than x this form is abc then this form is very higher than ab so this is the advantage of taking admission into iit or nit but still if you are not getting admission to iit or nit no problem you can bridge this gap with your dedication commitment and hard work after entering into the firm there are so many students and there are so many my colleagues who haven't been to iit and nit but they are working with iit and nit and now with their commitment hard work and dedication apart from iit and nit there are many other colleges like bits bit triple it you can consider those colleges as well last year majority of the my students have taken admission in triple it one student is in triple it allahabad two students are in triple it bangalore one of the advantage of iit is you are going to get good peer group this peer group is going to push you to achieve more and more in your career so this is one of the advantage of iit or nit so i hope now you all guys are clear in your career about which engineering college and which engineering branch can lift you from where and guide you where and what are your roles in it so why choosing career consider all these points apart from this if you if you are still facing any difficulty type in comments wish you all the best